Well, uh, good afternoon. Um, here's uh, I got an update here on another tornado threat in the United States right now. Uh, there's a enhanced risk for severe thunderstorms across um, southern areas of Iowa right now and toward the northern border of Missouri. Um, the Storm Prediction Center recently issued this enhanced risk, which is a three out of five on the um, convective outlooks scales, which is normally been used to um, show the probabilities for severe thunderstorms. Sorry, there's a beeping going on over here, uh, so it distracted me. Um, the Storm Prediction Center has a general 5% probability um, currently up for uh, most of Iowa and then toward, again on the northern borderline of uh, Missouri right now. Um, <coughs> this is where th in this area sorry um, in this area uh, we're looking at the greatest possibility for a few tornadoes. Um, it doesn't look like we're any looking at any possibilities for stronger tornadoes. We'll have more information when a severe thunderstorm or tornado watch is issued. In terms of how strong, tor what in terms of the risk for what type of strong tornadoes, or not. Um, but the good news is, um, right now with the risk currently being uh, enhanced, just issued now, and we only have a couple of hours till this all this gets started, means it's probably not the, probably not going to get that much worse, uh, unless of course conditions do warrant and a strong tornado does develop. But I think it's pretty unlikely at this point. Um, we also have wind threat 30% um, in the general in the same area that is covered as the that, that the enhanced risk uh, zone covers in that red area. You see a 30% chance for strong winds, 50, 60, 65, 70 miles per hour, uh, damaging wind gusts possible with these severe thunderstorms as they move through. This is a very significant event, um, very major event actually would be the proper word. Um, and generally we're running a 15% probability for some hail for pretty much almost all of Iowa there and uh, across much of the uh, northern areas of uh, Missouri there. Um, so right now it appears we have a threat for all three hazards. All three hazards are at major, significant or major levels. Um, but the highest threat we have to worry about here will be the strong winds. We could see some of these go, like I said, 50, 60, uh, 70 miles per hour even in some areas, especially in that area of red that you see. Uh, if I zoom in again, it's south central Iowa and then along the northern, central northern borderline there between Iowa and Missouri. Um, so we are looking at that potential for uh, quite a bit of severe weather today in that region. And tomorrow, I want to bring you up to date on the next three days as well, just to give you a whole overview here. Uh, you guys in Arkansas, southern Missouri, Oklahoma, northeastern Texas, uh, you guys are up for a slight risk of severe thunderstorms that could get jumped to enhanced as well. We'll see. Um, generally, the tornado threat, um, it's another major tornado threat, pretty much the same uh, as what we have today uh, for severe thunderstorms tor uh, producing tornadoes. The wind threat not as high because this hasn't quite hit, hit enhanced risk yet, so we're in a 15% probability there. This is mostly going to be for southern Missouri, uh, far eastern um, Oklahoma, and pretty much centered around uh, central and northern Arkansas. You guys in northeastern Texas, you, that that area in yellow that involves Texas there would be the only part of Texas to get the to get uh, major conditions. But it wouldn't be as major as what's expected farther toward the center here. And then hail appears to be a pretty marginal threat right now, only at about 5%. Uh, so a much lower threat for hail. And if you've noticed on the uh, conductive outlooks, even areas of New York and toward the northeast, there's a marginal risk for severe thunderstorms. This one will be a very ma or ma major, sorry, <laughs> ma very marginal event. Um, no wonder they call it marginal risk. Uh, very minor event here. Um, most uh, of the worst of it right now appears to be centered for uh, northern uh, New York and maybe far northwestern um, Vermont there. <clears throat> this could get expanded farther toward the east 
as it uh, as it was expanded further toward the east just recently. Um, the marginal risk was just about right there where my edge of the screen is, seeing as I can't point at the moment, so I'm just, it was right about there along the borderline, and then they pushed it farther toward the east, uh, even involving far, far, um, western areas of New Hampshire, um, near Littleton, near Berlin, uh, closer to Littleton than Berlin, but, um, this is not going to be that much of a major event as you can see the tornado threat is non-existent existent uh wind threat pretty marginal uh wind gusts that could occur here maybe 50 maybe even near 60 miles per hour in some areas but that's probably about the highest they'll get if even at 60 or, or not i don't particularly think they will get hit 60 but they could and hell not ex not existent uh i do apologize for such a long update uh normally don't make these that long uh, but we got quite a bit of severe weather that's expected. This is for day three. Um, so this is a very large one. Uh, this is the day after. This is this is the day after tomorrow. Um, we have a slight risk of severe thunderstorms from northeastern Mississippi all the way up toward southern areas of Ohio, um, and much pretty good, good 90% there of um, West Virginia. Um, are expecting some severe thunderstorms, uh, possibly with a couple of tornadoes, um, damaging, uh, winds or a tornado will be possible, uh, on Monday. So a much more, judging by what they're saying there, that's probably going to be a 2% tornado probability, but it could go up by the time we get to tomorrow and actually get a look to see at that. But... Uh, damaging winds or a tornado usually means that they may be they may be expecting up to one tornado so that would probably only be about a two percent again I'm just guessing at this point because they don't have the risk zone up uh, well they do have this uh, but that usually states who are probabilistic for generally all three or any of the three most commonly if you see this that's probably that's most likely going to be that's going to resemble the threat of wind uh, of the winds, unless tornadoes happen to, or, or hail happens to be a higher threat. Basically, what shows here is that is the highest possible um, right here on the day three. It always shows the highest possible uh, risk probability of one of those three uh, risks, whether it's tornado, hail, or wind. That's going to be what the highest is on there, and that's what they're going to display until we get to day two, because it's too far ahead to, to tell exactly which one is the highest and these numbers tend to be pretty uh, up and down especially if they're on day three they can change a lot anyway uh, apologies apologies for such a late update we have three days in a row of severe weather expected for many parts of the nation uh, stay tuned I'll have lots more updates on this event um, and I'll be up uh, up and around here Till about 7.30 p.m. EDT, tracking the city of thunderstorms for you guys in Iowa as we get closer to that point in time. Take care.